Hi guys doing Bobby Fear here and welcome to another ed episode of The Robe, the reality of Bobby Fear. Well, this is New Year's Eve and we want to talk about what went on in 2014. It started off with the Super Bowl when the Seattle Seahawks won their first Super Bowl and made Richard Sherman a household name and Wells is not just a name of a football anymore it's Wilson Russell Wilson yep then it comes on to the to surprisingly enough the Stanley Cup. You know, the Stanley Cup. And once again, the LA Kings won the Stanley Cup. I'm a little disappointed on uh, Boston they didn't make it farther in the playoffs. But there's not going to be a chance that they'll make their playoffs in 2015, the Bruins. But. <clears throat> Then on the NBA Finals, you also, you got the San Antonio Spurs winning the NBA championship. But before I stop talking just about sports, there was an event like no other. It's called the Market Basket Drama. It started in June when two brothers, both last in the Moulis, fight. They had a big fight. Which led to Arthur S. De Moulis firing Arthur T. De Moulis as the CEO of the company. That led to an uprising. That led to an uprising. 25,000 employees walked off the job and protested led to people hogging their horns and saying we want our the tea back we want our the tea back they tried replacing people they tried they tried to become like dictators of the rest of the crew but on August 20, at the in late August, Arthur T. Norris bought the company. I was there for the whole Market Basket drama because I lived next door to Market Basket. I've been rooting for all the workers and all that. I mean, but, some of them weren't getting paid. But there were less customers. For a couple of weeks, I had a shop at Stopping Shop. And Hannaford, that wasn't nice at all. <coughs> but I'm glad the Market Basket drama went out good. So now Arthur Tietam was the full soul owner with his sisters of the Demoulis Market Basket Dynasty. Usually I would talk about my bullet phone as one of the highlights, but not this year. Because of me going to the hospital and all that. So and I figured let's not talk about that. But now, in the World Series, the San Francisco Giants won the World Series in seven games. It would have been nice if Kansas City won. That would be a good place for their barbecue, you know what I mean? Now, it's, now the major thing that's going on 
at before this this year's Super Bowl is the MLS Cup. And the LA Galaxy, I am pissed off that they lost. Defeated our New England Revolution. They just called us the answer to the Buffalo Bills in MLS. That really sucks. By the LA Galaxy did a good job by pissed off Robert Kraft. Now they're thinking of building a stadium for the revolution in Boston. Mm hmm. Another th thing that was interesting was the Hunger Games Marathon. That's right, the Hunger Games Marathon was excellent. Seeing all three films at one day, ha having myself a feast and all that. Having myself a feast and all that. And me working at the screen park. It's, this is a crossroads, where me working at the screen park. Most of the season, I didn't work as a clown. I worked as something else. And from now on, I'm not going to be a clown. I am going to be a dead man. Not a zombie, not a... but a dead man. Not the Undertaker, but a dead man. Um... I don't know how my relationship with Renaissance Club is going to be in 2015. Maybe a no relationship at all. But the, it is a reality because I've fallen tired of Renaissance Club big time. Even though I've been a big supporter, but they're not treating me fairly anymore. That's how it is. Um, I'm. It's just that today I was making some special bacon dogs with lo mein and with lo mein and it still was delicious. I still have some hot dogs in the fridge that I made that I'll warm up by New Year by twelve midnight. I just made the French onion dip for the chips and cheese curls. The name of the cheese calls us Jax! Like my new grandnephew, Jax! And I also have a new grandniece as well, Beatrice! Everybody else is doing fun in my family. So I, so... I just want to do this robe to end up 20, the, end this, show for this year and I'll be back in 2015 with more episodes of The Robe. So my friends, this is Bob Ethier. I say thank you and this is my reality.